Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be animating some graphics. So we'll come back into our Form 1 Designer and let's just go ahead and change some properties of this button. So we'll set the text to animate rectangle. Okay, so now let's go ahead and come back into our code and we're going to create two variables so or two variables private exposition as integer and then private y position as integer okay so whenever they click on form one it's going to create a new rectangle so what we want to do is set X position equal to e dot x and they'll set y position equal to e dot y so now we have our x position and our y position so we'll go ahead and minimize that so now what we need to do is we need to come into our form one designer again we'll come over here to our toolbox and we'll create a new timer so we'll just call it timer animate and we'll set the interval to let's say 100 milliseconds is good so we'll come back into form 1.vb or first we need to double click on timer animate so we can access the tick event so you can see that when they click on form 1 it's going to refresh it let's just go ahead and take me.refresh and put it inside draw a new rectangle so it'll refresh and then draw the new rectangle. So whenever the timer ticks, what we want to do is we'll set x position uh, minus equals, or let's go ahead and add plus equals, let's do three. And then we'll just draw new rectangle. And for the new rectangle, we're going to use x position and Y position and you can see I spelled some of this stuff wrong so we'll come up here we'll fix that okay so whenever it ticks it's going to add three three more um, three to the integer X position and it's going to draw a new rectangle with the X position and the Y position so whenever they click button draw what we want to do is start the timer so timer animate dot start so it's going to start the timer and we'll go ahead and run this so we can just go ahead and click somewhere on the screen so you can see that we got our square and when we click animate rectangle you can see that the rectangle starts sliding across the screen but once it gets to the edge of the screen it goes away and it never comes back so what we can do to fix this is we'll type if x position is greater than me dot size so we're accessing the size property and size contains what's called width it's the horizontal uh, length of the form. So if it's greater than the width of the form, what do we want to do? We want to set x position equal to zero. So it will send it back to the beginning of the form. And now we need to do an else if. So else if x position is less than zero, then what do we want to do? We want to set x position equal to me dot size dot width now we're not going to be using this else if right here it's not going to be used anywhere in here but we may use it later on so if the square goes too far to the right it's going to set it back to the front and then if the square goes too far to the left it's going to set it back to uh, the right so depending on which way we're going it'll still work and let's go ahead and we'll make the animation a little bit faster so for timer animate we'll come over here into form one 
we will select the interval and we'll set it to let's say 20 milliseconds so let's go ahead and run this and we will draw a square and we can click animate rectangle and you can see that the rectangle will go all the way and then once it passes the edge of the screen it pops back up at the beginning of the form and you can see that we can keep putting the rectangle in different places on our form and it's going to continue to animate and each time we do it it creates a new rectangle because it refreshes the screen and takes away any previous rectangles so what we can also do is we can make this animation go backwards and that's what we can use this else if right here for so if the position is less than zero it's going to send it back to the right so we'll go ahead and click that and create a rectangle and we can click animate and you can see that it'll go backwards and once it hits right here it's going to send it back to the edge the other edge of the form and every time we click it creates a new rectangle and starts animating it from that position so go ahead put this code in if you have it you can change it around if you want um, make it animate in different ways and then once you've done that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial